Hey guys, it's Tom from Resale America in the Lakeland Square Mall where we own the world's largest liquidation store, but we also own two bin stores. Our bin stores are called Deal Days in their Winter Haven, Florida, and in Port Ritchie, Florida. In this video, I'm gonna show you my profit and loss statement for my Winter Haven store so you can find out how much you can make in a bin store. All I had to do is get up here. I appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't joined my bin store co-op group, go on to Facebook, join the group. I mean, it's been incredible the amount of people that have been signing up lately. There's over 2,000 people in there, or almost 2,000 people now. But this is not for brokers. If you're a broker, you can join, but don't post. If you want to private message members, that's fine, but do not post deals in that group. That deal is only for if we can lock into a contract as a group, we can all negotiate with a contract holder and maybe buy all the smalls for a set price, and then we can all participate and saving monies together. If you watch any of my other videos about deep buying from big brokers, medium brokers, and little brokers, we, I'm trying to eliminate that and everybody can buy together the same. I don't make any money from it. I'm just trying to, trying to, to fix the inventory issues that bin stores have. So today we're gonna review my costs, expenses, and profit from my Winter Haven store. So my Winter Haven store is a uh, 10,000 square foot store uh, located in Winter Haven, Florida. It's in a C plaza, it's not a nice plaza, uh, but it has a lot of parking. It's an old family dollar building, it's 10,000 square feet. Okay, so it's not, it's, it's, it's just an okay, in a bin store, I don't think you need a great location. I think they're destination locations where people will come to you the town only has about, I think, 15,000 people in it, so it's also a small town. So first of all, rent. Rent. How much money do I pay for rent? My rent there is $32.42. So that's pretty cheap for rent. So that includes everything as far as the CAM common area maintenance, utility, not utilities, but taxes, insurance. That's all included in that rent. I pay a gross rent there, not a net rent. So if you don't know the difference between gross and net, gross means everything's included. Net means you pay your rent, then you pay your portion according to the square footage of your store, of the insurance, of the outside cleanup, and of the property taxes. That's a net rent versus a gross rent. Gross rent, it's all included. I pay a gross rent. Next is utilities. So utilities, I have uh, my, my electric bill, uh, which is not that much, my garbage and my water bill, so my to and my utilities um, and my Wi-Fi. So that totals, my utilities total $520 a month. That's really not that bad for a store that size. I'm quite impressed how cheap that is. Um, next, after that, we have our inventory. So how, you know, this might be something that's gonna be different for you guys, so how we do our inventory. I have my large store, Resale America, we buy the truckloads here. We process the truckloads from the six foot pallets and we put it in the boxes. Um, we do pull out some stuff to sell in the big store and then we send the rest to the bin stores. So we box them up in the smaller boxes so that the employees at the bin stores can easily dump them. We can't send a six foot pallet over there because they don't have the ability to dump them and it takes too long. So we get the Amazon coffin boxes uh, from our other loads and we save those and that's what we put our bin store merchandise in, ship it to our bin store. And then we allocate a cost to the bin stores. So this particular month, our bin store inventory cost us $23,550. All right, next expense is payroll. Now listen, you don't need a lot of people to run these stores. I think that we run them on three stores. We have a manager and then two other employees. You can easily, that's if you're going five days a week, you can easily fill up all the shifts with those three employees and even one of them only works about 20 hours a week. The second employee works 30 hours a week then the manager works full time is how I operate them. Um, 
It's simple to run the store. It's more about keeping your employees busy and efficient because you really, most days you can run it with one person, but I always have the backup person out in the bins, cleaning the bins, because everybody knows people open up the boxes, tear open packages, you know, they're, they're always, the bins are always messy, so we're always cleaning the bins out constantly cleaning the bins out. So it's e so I have the second employee cleaning the bins out when a, when a bunch of people get in line that need to be cashed out, they'll come back and help with cashing people out. I have three registers in each one of my store. So payroll for me averages, this is, uh, this is for the month, $7,526 is what I paid this month for payroll. Next is insurance. I gotta have property insurance, liability insurance, which is not that much for me. Uh, I pay, and this is for a, for a, uh, I believe it's a $2 million liability policy, just in case. I pay $253 a month. Credit card fees, credit cards suck, suck. If you watch my other channels, you know that I'm a big cryptocurrency fan, and in the future, you'll be able to use a wallet, a cryptocurrency wallet, where you'll, you'll pay no fees. No fees. Credit cards take about 3%, maybe a little bit less, maybe two and a half. So if, you, if you're higher volume, you can get it negotiated down. I have a restaurant that does like three million a year. I think they pay like 2.2% uh, in credit card fees. But for this month, my credit card fees were $1,181 for this month. So it does eat up a bit of your profit there. And then last, supplies. This is miscellaneous supplies, if I could break it down. We did, spot, we did order some uniforms this month. Uh, this is from Sam's Club Supplies, some Staples Supplies. We did a little bit of advertising, $300 of the advertising, uh, which, uh, you know, that's for a different video. I really don't recommend that. Uh, drinks from Winn-Dixie, I don't know what that is, and Best Buy, we do raffle prizes. So every week we do raffle prizes. So the manager, if I don't send them enough raffle prizes, they can go out and buy some raffle prizes. So all the miscellaneous supplies and expenses are $1,200. You know, I think we also sponsored a softball team this month, so that was $500. We do things that we can to give back to the community. So all in all, our expenses for this one month were $33,022. So I know all stores are different. We, we did um, have a brief encounter with a gentleman who said he was doing hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in sales in bin stores. I've heard about having bigger bin stores or different concepts of, as far as pricing goes, and we've talked about that a lot in the past. You know, this, this is based on just doing the 54321 concept, close Thursday and Friday. Okay, so in this store, and we only use an Amazon Smalls in this store most of the time. Only using Amazon Smalls. So for this month in sales, we did $39,448. Minus our expenses of $33,022. Gives us a profit of $6,426 for the month. For the month, okay. So if we were to multiply that out by the year times 12, that gives us a total annual profit of $76,800. So now keep in mind, that's after you brought me some flowers. I appreciate that. You are the best. Thank you. <laughs> customers, customers. Um, so, you know, in my opinion, if you want to open an individual bin store, making seventy six thousand dollars is a, is, a, is I think is I mean it's certainly if the average household income in America is like forty four thousand, it's certainly a good income. But keep in mind also that this payroll number includes paying a manager in here. So you could also um, you, you know if you're going to run the store, you don't need to pay that manager. The only expense that's really not added in here is the how we do the inventory, okay? Because we process the inventory in my big store, ship it over there. You would be getting direct loads. You would have to get the loads directly shipped to you. Now, I know there are some stores that are 15, people are recommending don't open a store unless it's 15 or 20,000 square feet. I mean, that kind of blows my mind, but it also gets me excited because I really wanna, I really wanna entertain the process of opening a store that big and seeing if I can make something like that work. Uh, I am looking for my third location, 
possibly my fourth. I'm actually looking at two different spots. If they both work out, I'll open two more stores. Inventory seems to be freeing up a lot. I'm getting a lot of stuff out of the state of Florida. So, um, you know, I, I think the bin store concept will continue to prosper. Uh, if you look at the number of people that join my group, it's just, I mean, everybody, all, there'll be bin stores in every city across America. What will that do to the inventory? Obviously, it could put a crunch on the inventory, we'll see. But you know, the poor, the poor operators will go out of business and the good operators will stay in business. It's just, it's just the law, law of economics there. So, so this is how much money I profit from my Winter Haven bin store, small town, uh, average size store. I mean, we only, we only use about 5,000 square feet of the store for the bins, and the other 5,000 square feet we just use for storage. We take, you know, so it's really, if you wanna really say, it's really only 5,000 worth of bin store. Um, bin stores are a great business to be in. I think they're hugely profitable. Any of these negative people on here, right? All these negative people on, even in my group, that are telling you, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I think you should do it. Find the inventory, lock down the inventory, find those channels, then you should do it, all right? I mean, if you're, if you're raw, I wouldn't jump into a store. I would do the research first, find the distributor, or, or buy pallets. I mean, I supply a couple other bin stores. So other bin stores come to me and buy my six foot pallets untouched and put them in their bin stores. So they, they make their living off me, which I'm fine with. I, you know, I make a hundred bucks a pallet. They, they can, can run their own store, um, you know, but I want to do a whole chain. I want to, I, I would like to have, I mean, imagine if I could have this and own 20 of them, you know, then we're talking some real serious money there. So I want to expand the bin store concept. If you guys want to, if you guys have any, any suggestions, I mean, look at, this is all my expenses. This is 100% of my expenses in a bin store. I keep it simple. You ever heard of the kiss technique? Stan, you heard of kiss? Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, Ian has, because Ian, uh, Ian's worked in the kitchen before. Kitchen military, keep it simple, stupid. That's right, keep it simple, stupid. That's right, kiss technique. This is all I, this is all I pay out in expenses. I don't want any more expenses. I, it's nothing elaborate. People don't care about it being elaborate. All they want it to be is basic and bargains, okay? That's what you need to do in your bin store. Basic bargains, that's it. So um, if you have any suggestions for me or recommendations or changes that I should make in this, you know, feel free to, uh, to message me, put, it, put the comments down below. And please, if you have not subscribed, liked, hit the bell notifications, please do it for me. I do these videos for free. I lose money on these videos because I gotta pay Stan. Stan, turn the camera around on yourself, all right? I gotta pay Stan, you know, every week every week for coming out and doing these videos. So please subscribe, like, it helps with the algorithm. Hopefully someday I'll break even and uh, you know maybe give Stan a raise. So, all right, all right. So remember Tom, Resale America, Lakeland Square Mall, world's largest liquidation store. We have two bin stores, Deal Days in Port Ritchie and uh, Winter Haven. You know, thanks for watching my videos. Now go out there and make some money.